comments on this? Or do you want us just to well, take a look? I, I don't know how long you know, feedback. I don't know how long you've all had it, but just, Jake, myself, Aaron, and the town fire marshal have gone through it several oh, times. Okay, so we just have it. Okay. Several times. Well, and this is this is our final draft. So. Um, Rather dry. Yes, I think. But um, I started reading it. However, both go together. Is that correct? Because there is yeah. a reference here in chapter yeah. 30 to 46. Yes. It, 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 amends, it amends both chapter 30 and 46, which is the fire yes. prevention. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes. I think especially Article 30, a lot of it is is new, except for when you get to Get to 30 18, the unsafe buildings, structures, equipment, and conditions. It's on page 18 of it. That's pretty much verbatim out of what is in the code now, um, except we added um, to the definitions of what would constitute kind of junk outside people's houses. And a lot of that, com a lot of that comes from. The experience with 235 Dunning Avenue, which, which I should, because if you read the current the current code, it only it doesn't have appliances, it doesn't have equipment, it's only got debris, garbage, and junk motor vehicle. And if you go through there, and then solid and solid waste. So, you know, do a bunch of old lawnmowers. <laughs> Clearly aren't debris because that's like construction stuff. It's not garbage. It's not a junk motor yep. vehicle. Maybe it's solid waste, but that's why we went and we added appliances and equipment, that's good. Um, so that there wouldn't be any question about that. Um, yeah. But otherwise, the process, the process for declaring an unsafe building, and then it comes mm -hmm. back to. There's, a, uh, there's an investigation by the code enforcement officer that comes back to this board. And it's sort of like it's the same process that was started for the property on East Main Street, which we didn't have to go through because is there a bank or someone actually finally fixed up that building. But um, where, where there would be a hearing in front of this board, and then you would decide whether it actually is an unsafe building. It is, you order it to be repaired or demolished, and if it's not done within 30 days or 60 days, whatever the time frame is, then the village could cause it to be repaired or torn down and charge the property owner on their okay. uh, taxes. So that's, that's all the same. Um, but the rest of the 30 is, is, is new. Fire prevention, Jake. How much of this is new? Because um, that's there's bits, and, bits and pieces. Really, it took the yeah. old and what the model code yeah. or the new code is. If somebody didn't have one, right? They kind of tried to put them together like that. Um, it's just simply just because the state. My understanding is the state changed the executive law. You know, part twelve three of the executive law that deals with administration and enforcement of the code, and we had to change our laws. So, you know, when they make when they change theirs, so make sure that we're still consistent and have certain things in there. So, and that's, we just kind of match them together. And then, you know, obviously every time you read the code, you're like, oh, that should change, that should change. Or there's an error, you know, something that's going to be here. Right? So we took that opportunity to kind of update things a little bit and match things together at the same time. 
originally we put, put them all into one code and then felt that it was better to separate it back out and keep, you know, we're going to have it all as a new chapter 30, but then we did that and then as final review, we said, no, maybe that's not the best, and we went back to 30 and 46 and kept them the way they are. I like that better than combined. Yeah, same. So what what I'd like to do is in the September 14th meeting is have the board consider a resolution to set the public hearing to adapt to this. Yes. Okay. So you know that gives you a, so the public hearing would be at the last board meeting in September theoretically, and this would give you a lot of time to read this thing. And if you had any questions, you could let Jake or myself or Aaron know. 